Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration on how to clean the commentator of an armature for a motor. Don't forget to check out my website at www.4diyers.com and subscribe to my social media pages such as Google+, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Links are all included in the description below. Having a dirty commutator can cause a poor connection between the brushes, resulting in the motor not functioning correctly. If you are also replacing the brushes of the motor, it is important to clean the commutator before usage again. First clean the commutator using a toothbrush and contact cleaner. Spray the contact cleaner on the commutator, then agitate the surface with the toothbrush. This will remove any oils, dust, dirt, or any other contaminants which can cause connection issues and prevent any contaminants from traveling when we clean up the copper surface in the next step. Also give the rest of the armature a wash down with contact cleaner to remove any unwanted dirt or debris. Only use an electronic contact cleaner otherwise you do risk damaging the insulation within the armature. Be sure you're also working in a well ventilated area wearing safety glasses and rubber gloves. As you can see the armature has cleaned up some. Next we will be resurfacing the commutator, removing any pitting, marks left from arcing, embedded dirt, etc. Normally this is done on a lathe, but unfortunately not everyone has access to something like this. So there will be two alternative options I will be showing. Use only aluminum oxide sandpaper, 600 grit. Rip off a piece roughly about the width of the commutator. Holding the armature in one hand, wrap the sandpaper around the commutator, light pressure, Turn the commutator in a full rotational motion and not just back and forth. Also sand in the path of travel and not against it. This will give a fairly consistent level surface. We do not want to create an uneven surface as this can cause issues. Now is a better more reliable method using a drill. Not all armature shafts are the same size therefore you may have an issue using a drill as some chucks do not open a large enough amount. I do have a couple drills. I did pick the one with the larger chuck. Have a piece of sandpaper which is the right width and also long enough to pinch a couple inches away from the commutator. This will allow for a fairly uniform sanding similar to using a lathe. Ensure the surface imperfections are removed. Any deep damage can be too much for sandpaper, therefore you'll need someone to recut the surface on a lathe. After that give the commutator a final cleanup with contact cleaner. Also clean up in between each of the bars using a plastic scriber to remove any buildup of debris from before or after the resurfacing. Next is checking the mica depth between each of the bars. For this armature it isn't needed but in some scenarios the mica between the bars can be too high preventing the brushes from properly riding on the commutator. The mica should be around one millimeter lower than the bars. This is also known as mica undercut. To cut the mica back there's specific tools for this procedure such as a cutting blade, file, but a razor knife can also be used. After you're done, you should be left with something such as this. Be sure to stay up to date with my latest videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the button below the video. This concludes the rest of my video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to post them. Thank you for watching.